Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on Supergirl. Today we're going to be talking about Sasha's new Supergirl, who is going to be appearing in the new Flash film. Also, we're going to be talking about Melissa Benoist crossing over. Also, we've got some first looks at Sasha in the Supergirl costume that I want to go into and break down. But just before we get into it, this video is made possible by Undone Watches. We will be talking about them later in the video, so without further ado, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year or DC EU videos. Okay, so yeah, it's like a mishmash. We're going to be talking all about Supergirl. Obviously, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all my Supergirl coverage to do with the new Supergirl because we've got a bunch of new videos that's going to be coming out over the next week or so. And obviously, as we head towards the Flash film and if there's any behind the scenes leaks, we're going to be talking about Supergirl because we are a big Supergirl channel here. So, it got announced the other day and we made a video on that. Go check that out if you didn't check it out. It's a few videos back. But they just cast a new Supergirl for the DCEU, so in the films. And so, Sasha Calais, if that's how you pronounce the name, I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong, just got cast as a new Supergirl. Obviously, this is the fourth Supergirl. We have one in the original Supergirl film with Helen Slater. We had Laura Vandervoort. In Smallville, we have Melissa Benoist, who is currently the main Supergirl right now and is the biggest Supergirl of all time, currently on the CW. And then now we have the new casting for the new Flash, Flashpoint film, which is coming up in the next few years. So we're going to be seeing more Supergirl, and that's very exciting considering that the TV show is going away. So it's good that we're going to get content, and we're going to probably see a Supergirl movie very, very soon. And I'm going to be talking about that later in the week in a separate video. But yeah, so they cast Sasha as the new Supergirl, it was really cool, they released this really nice, fun video where you saw Sasha being told by Andy Muschietti, the director of the Flash film, that she had been cast as the new Supergirl, and so he actually pulls up a costume at one point, a Superman or Supergirl costume, and so, yeah, we need to kind of theorize and break it all down. Now, the first thing that I want to talk about is this. Since the announcement, as expected, there has been a bunch of fan art, and it gives our first look at Sasha in a version of the Supergirl costume, and some of the coolest ones out there I'm going to be showcasing right now. So, the first one out of the two ones that I found really cool was Boss Logic's version of Sasha in the Supergirl costume, and so Boss's version is basically kind of similar to the TV show, although she has these cool red gloves. And then, you know, the boots are different, she does have pants, she doesn't have the classic Supergirl skirt. Her skirt is kind of more like a cape, it seems like, in his. So I really like this, and I really like that it's imagined her without the blonde hair, because I think it would be very exciting if they stuck with her normal hair, rather than having her be, like, exactly the same as Supergirl in the comics, or like Melissa's Supergirl. I think it will be better that is going to be different from Melissa's Supergirl. So I'm really sticking and I'm hoping for the brown or black hair. And so yeah, this is an amazing design by Boss Logic, who is a great graphic designer. He's very well known in the comic and movie industry. So that's a cool first look, imagining what she could look like in the Supergirl costume. And so the second one I'm going to feature is from an artist called The Trinity. And their version of Supergirl is definitely my favorite one I've seen. It showcases Sasha with her normal hair, but also with blonde hair. So it kind of gives you these two perspectives of what she could potentially look like. And the Supergirl costume is really cool. Kind of looks like a cross between Melissa's Supergirl suit and the Man of Steel Superman suit. And I kind of like that cross of both because the Supergirl suit we got right now is amazing. And the Man of Steel suit is cool and... I don't think the DCEU has like the best costumes, but I think a cross of both would be cool. And so it's amazing that they were able to do this transition between her normal hair and blonde hair. But the big question is, what will she actually have in the end? Will she be forced to dye her hair or will she be allowed to stay as she is? So I think it's a toss of a coin. But now as we hit around the midway point of the video, let's talk about this video's partner. This video is brought to you by Undone. Undone Watches has partnered with me to bring you this video. Undone are a watch company. All inline products are fully customizable, making every piece unique. What's most interesting, and I think what you guys will really love about Undone, is their collaborations with Warner Brothers, building a DC Universe section on their website. So go check out the website because they have 
an amazing selection of DC watches, including the Flash one that you can see here. It has an amazing look and an amazing design that is perfect for every DC fan. I specifically like the Flash watch because that is my favorite TV show and my favorite comic book character. You guys can pick from your favorite comic book characters if you want an Undone watch. Along with the Flash, they also have a wide range of DC watches, including Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Joker, with more to come. So if you like what you see and you're a DC fan, you want to get a watch, Undone Watches is the place for you. The unique range of DC watches is unrivaled. And if you want to get your hands on a watch and purchase your Flash, your Superman, your Batman, your Wonder Woman watch by following my special link in the description. So if you want a fantastically sleek, fully customizable DC watch like this Flash watch, be sure to go over to Undone and become a part of the Undone family. So hopefully you've stuck around and go check out Undone if you want to get yourself your very own customized DC watch. Trust me, it's worth it and use my affiliate code in the description below when you are purchasing from Undone. Well, anyway, back into today's main topic. So Supergirl and Melissa Benoist crossing over. Okay, so over the past few days since the announcement of Sasha being the new Supergirl, Melissa has actually interacted with Sasha a couple of times and so Melissa on an Instagram story a couple of days ago welcomed Sasha into the Supergirl family because she is one of the four people who have played Supergirl. Obviously Melissa is the main Supergirl so I guess that's where it's really important and so she can't wait to see Sasha as Supergirl she said in this story and that she believes that we need all the Supergirls we can get. Which I think is completely true and you guys know that Melissa Benoist will always be my Supergirl because I love Supergirl, I love the show and Melissa is one of my favourite actors and she does such a good job with one of my favourite superheroes. But saying that, it makes me really happy that Melissa Benoist sent out this Instagram story talking about Sasha's casting, the fact that she's excited because I feel the same thing. Because even though I love this one iteration of Supergirl, I'm all for more Supergirls. Like, she is one of my favorite comic book characters, so of course I'm gonna wanna see more Supergirl and seeing them on the big screen. I've been waiting for a Supergirl film for the longest time, and so I think it's really exciting, especially that we're getting her premiering in the Flash film, because obviously you've seen the Flash and Supergirl on the TV show. It's been so successful, the crossovers. So now seeing them cross over in a film, that would be super exciting. But in terms of crossing over with the TV side, the Arrowverse side, with Melissa and Grant, we'll get to that in a minute, but Sasha also responded to Melissa's Instagram story by saying that she has watched all of the Supergirl episodes and that it means so much to her to be congratulated by Melissa and she's super excited to become Supergirl. And for me as a fan, that is very reassuring that she's watched Supergirl, she's seen Melissa's version and she's going to take away what she can from it but also create her own version of Supergirl, which I think is the most exciting thing about it. But I'm just very glad that she acknowledged, yes, Supergirl is great. And the fact that she's watched all the episodes with her little brother, I just think that's awesome. So I'm really, really excited about all of this, as you can tell by me making these videos. And I'm going to continue to make more videos because I got a bunch of theories to do with Supergirl, the new movie, and Sasha's casting and potential crossovers because recently, Warner Brothers and DC have confirmed that they're crossing over the Arrowverse to the DCEU to HBO Max. They want their worlds to intertwine and so I think now is the time for this. And so in the upcoming Supergirl film, which is probably going to happen, but we're going to get more into that in another video. So that upcoming film, which has been talked about for a while, could totally have a crossover with Melissa. So it seems like they're so down to do it because, you know, all this back and forth on social media definitely suggests they're fans of each other and I feel like Sasha is going to have some say in it. And considering the big success that Supergirl has been on the CW on TV, Melissa's version is literally the definition of Supergirl because literally in the comics they have made it, they've made huge changes after the show aired because that's the version of Supergirl people want to see. They want to see Supergirl in the comics more like Melissa. So, with her influence and with them actually interacting, and especially with Sasha being a fan of Supergirl, the TV show, I think there is definitely a chance that Melissa crosses over and does like a cameo appearance in the new Supergirl film, 
Also, it's likely that she could make a cameo in the Flashpoint film, which is the Flash film Supergirl is premiering in, because we've been speculating for a while that Grant Gustin's going to show up at some point, and it seems like the filming schedules might just align that would allow Grant to come on and do a cameo. I think Melissa could take a break and then come and film if it's possible or I mean they could come up to Vancouver and do a scene or two with Melissa if they wanted and I don't know how long the Flash film is filming for so it all kind of matters about that and Supergirl the TV show season 6 finishes filming in August so she'll be free from then on so if they want her to come back shoot in LA or something because I'm presuming Melissa's gonna move back to LA once she's finished shooting up in Vancouver and the Flash film potentially could still be filming because they haven't started filming yet, but they're, I think, going to start in March. So some shoots go on for a very, very long time, and some of these superhero ones do. So maybe the Flash is still shooting then, and maybe that's when they get Melissa involved. So I would really, really be down for this, as you can tell. So you have to let me know in the comments down below what do you think about all of this, because I'm very excited and I really want a crossover. So... Let's talk about Sasha's Supergirl suit, because we talked about the first looks, we talked about the fan art that came in just yesterday, and so in terms of her suit, in the video, Andy Muschietti pulls up a suit on the screen. You'll see it on the screen right now, and so this suit looks like the Man of Steel suit. I don't know if it's like a mock-up of Henry Cavill's DCEU Superman suit, or if it's an actual Supergirl suit, because I presume with them literally going to start filming very soon, they're gonna have a Supergirl suit done, so I'm wondering if that version was the actual Supergirl suit we're gonna see, and it's gonna be something like what we saw in Man of Steel, Justice League and everything with Henry Cavill's Superman suit, because that kind of looks like what he was holding up, so it may possibly not even be the real suit, it may just be a mock-up, but either way, I think it's going to be like a kind of hybrid between the CW suit and the Man of Steel suit. And yeah, it's probably going to be more towards the DCEU suit with some changes. Like, I don't think it's going to be exactly the same as Henry Cavill's. But also, I don't think it's going to be that close to the CW's. Because the style's a bit different and there is just different ways of making suits for films. And for the Arrowverse, I feel like the Arrowverse is more like the comic books. However, if you look at the Suicide Squad, the new one, and look at Peacemaker's suit, that looks more like a kind of comic book suit. It looks even more comic booky than the CW stuff. So maybe there is precedent for them going more comic booky. But in the past, the DCEU movie suits have pretty much stuck to a similar style that is quite real, kind of raggedy, and kind of muscle fitting, I guess, for Superman. Basically less smooth and more kind of fitting with a darker edge to them. But I would figure we're going to get some sort of new look at the new Supergirl suit very, very soon. And hopefully along with The Flash starting to film their Flashpoint film, we're going to see like a bunch of cameos that are going to be leaked in the behind the scenes stuff. So maybe we'll get like an official first look pretty soon of Supergirl's suit and Sasha suiting up as her. So let me know down in the comments down below what is your preference in terms of like how they do their costumes. Would you guys have a preference? I would say I really want it to be like smack bang in the middle. Kind of like some of the fan arts we showed earlier in the video. But that's about it for this video. Remember guys, please be sure to go to the link in the description below and take a look at Undone's website. Have a browse through their watches. And if you're a huge DC fan and you want to get a cool watch, I would highly recommend going and buying one because they are awesome. I have the Flash one myself, as I mentioned earlier in the little snippet. And I love wearing it and it's very personalized. And I think you guys as DC fans who watch my videos, I think you would love it. So follow my affiliate link in the description below. And just one last thing, thank you very much for the support on the recent Supergirl video where we talked about the casting announcement of Sasha because it did very well. And if you want to go check it out and if you missed it, go check it out. It's just a few days ago. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.